Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to work with your WordPress theme. So here I have a theme called Couture, it's very nice, uh, but you'll notice that they're not my images, they're demo images. So I could go ahead and click edit, edit this home page, and insert some of my own images. So I can just go through here, click on an image, replace it. Click on an image, replace it. I can also click on this text and go ahead and type, you know, my bio or whatever, what the site's about or whatever I'd like to have. Um, so that could be good. Um, and also I should note any of these images, you could also assign a link. It could go to a page or to another address or whatever you want. Um, so this is a kind of a nice way to set up a home page for your band, your business, your portfolio. Uh, but for a blog where you kind of want to say, here's the new stuff, here's the new stuff, this sort of band business portfolio layout is not as good. So instead of customizing this page, I think I want to choose a different theme that maybe will work a little bit better. So we'll go to themes. And you can look through here. They've got a handful up top, and then you can click on Show All Themes to see more. Um, you can type a keyword if you like, like blog. And then it'll give you some choices like blog, business, food. You could say Show Me Blog. You probably want to be sure to hit the, Show Me the Free Ones. Um, or also you can search instead uh, you know, by the features you want or what kind of layout you'd like, how many columns you might like, sort of subject style, etc. Um, I've kind of looked through here and, and picked a few and you can look through and find others, but so I'm going to use some of the ones I found a few minutes ago. I like one called Photos, so let's hit that. So it gives me some info, tells me how to set it up, etc. cetera. Um, I could activate it uh, free. We like that part. Uh, I'll, instead, I'll show, say, show me the live demo. So what that'll do is show me how the theme looks with their demo content. So if I don't have enough or the right content or whatever, I'll get a good view of what it looks like. And then if I like that, I can say, go ahead and customize that, which will insert now my content. Uh, whoa, that's not what I want. So there's an important button you have over here, homepage settings. So you have two choices, your latest post and a static page. So again, for something like that, uh, page for your band or for your business or your portfolio, you might want to have a static page that you lay out and design in a special way. But for something like a blog, it could be a blog about sports or politics or about art, um, latest posts might serve you better. So we want to switch to latest posts. And now we're going to see the layout of this photos theme. And I could do some more customizing, but actually this is pretty good. Uh, I see the three posts that I have now. And when I have more than three, then we'll see the grid. It'll be even nicer. So that's one called photos. It's pretty cool. Let's go back and check out another one I like called boardwalk. So I'll hit info, again, gives me the story, how to set it up, and it's free. Uh, so I'll open the live demo. This is what it looks like with their demo content. It scrolls across, it's pretty cool. On a phone, instead of have the vertical bars scrolling horizontally, it's horizontal bars scrolling vertically. And actually up here is a, a little demo slider. This is the desktop and laptop view. You can also look at tablet or at phone. And it'll give you a preview of how it works there. So that's pretty cool. I'll go back to desktop just for the moment. Um, so I'll go ahead and try it with my content. And let's go make sure I got homepage settings, latest blog posts. And there it is. And I can adjust colors, you know, red background, blue, and so on. I can adjust type if I want and different things. But there's another choice. I could go ahead and activate that uh, and save that.
So both of those photos in Boardwalk, as you notice, um, they're photo heavy. They don't really have text on the home page. You click through, you'll read the whole post, but the home page is featuring images. So why don't we look at one that is more about text? So there's one I like called Escutcheon. which instead of photos, it's got text on the home page. It's free, that's great, open live demo, uh, looks pretty good. Try it with my content. Make sure to set that to latest posts. And there it is, it's my demo website, week one, maintenance art, week two, abstraction, week two, priming art. So it's not as sexy as the, the photo-based ones, but you know, for a blog, it's kind of a nice way to see what a lot of the things you've been posting are really quickly on the home page. So that's a pretty cool uh, theme. So then here's one that, so we saw two with that only have photos. Now here's one that only has text. So why don't we look at one that has a little bit of both. Um, one I like called Sabor. It's free, let's look at the live demo. So it's got a title, it's got image, text, and then it doesn't, Put the whole thing there, I can read a preview and then I can continue to read the rest of it, another image. So I get, again, to see quite a few things. And then over here, it's got my social links, a menu and some other stuff. It's pretty cool, I'll try it with my content. Once again, make sure I've got it set to show latest posts. And here we go, my post, some info, next post, next post, and then over here, I've got my social links, my menu, and I could add some other things down here, some other widgets, um, but let me show you one more theme and I'll use that one to add the widgets. So here's another theme I like called Pen Scratch. Pen Scratch 2 to be precise. So this is kind of cool. It's a little bit of a balance between the writer thing and the photo thing. It's got a little logo and two columns and it's pretty cool. It's free, it's open live demo. I like it. It's got photo, text, logo, it's clean. It's got a little like bio thing over here. So let's try it with my content. Drop by home settings, go to latest posts. So it looks pretty good. Um, note that it doesn't have that two column thing now, it has the one column thing. Um, before I show you how to get the two columns, let me tell you one other item. This content options, we have excerpt and full post over here. So if it's full post, it shows you the, the featured image and then the images in the post and the entire post, which can be good, especially like, you know, if you're writing about the Lakers uh, and people are gonna come and most people are gonna read your brand new post about last night's game. So having the full post could be good. But on the other hand, sometimes you want people to just get that quick preview. So saying excerpt um, just gives them a, a title, a photo, a sentence, and then they can click through to see the whole thing. So I like that. Obviously I've got my homepage settings to latest posts. And now to get that layout the way I saw it over there, um, I can go to widgets. Widgets are little elements that you add to your layout. There's some that you can have at the bottom, but let's look at the sidebar. So I could add something like um, authors. So now it's gonna have a little bit narrower, maybe even easier to read column for my posts. And then on the right, it's got this author thing, which would be really cool for multiple authors because it would show who everybody was and what they'd all written. But in the case of my one author blog, well, we already know it's me and you know, this is all my latest stuff, so it's not that helpful. Maybe we could make our own version of this that's a little bit better. So maybe I'll add um, an image widget. Use something like that. Okay, so now we got a nice picture. Um, I could give it a title if I wanted to. I could have it linked to some place when I click on it if I wanted to. Um, and then I'll add maybe a text widget. And I can call my text widget something like Glenn Zuckman or about Glenn, something like that. And I could write, you know,
Okay, so I got some stuff, looks good. And actually I like the photo with my own little bio better than this author's thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the author's thing. Nice, I could add some more stuff, maybe an Instagram feed would be nice. So Instagram, it said, so Instagram is a little fussy. So what it's telling me is that be, I'm gonna have to save my theme that I've been uh, customizing here. So I'm gonna activate it and save it. And let's go back to customizing. Widgets, sidebar, Instagram. Now I'm ready to click authorize. <laughs> it, you might have to go through this authorized loop a couple times. It's a little fussy with Instagram, but anyway, eventually you'll get here and then you can say how many, col how many columns you'd like, one, two, three. You do want, how many images do you want to see? It'll adjust that, very cool. Maybe add something else, maybe a Twitter. Um, there's various things you can set on, on this Twitter, but the only thing you really have to specify is what your username is. So great, I've got a little photo, a little bio, some Instagram feed, I've got a Twitter feed that people can look at. Um, so it's pretty cool, so let's save that. Close that, and boom, there we are. There's my website, Demo 2020, Glenn's 2 of Artland. I got a menu, I've got some posts, I've got photo, bio, uh, some social links, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, so feel free to use any of these themes or any other themes that you find there uh, as you're poking around. Good luck.